Hello, welcome back to Ask a Monk. Next question comes from Bobby, who asks, Is there a way to get more motivated while meditating? Sometimes I want to meditate for an hour, but I end up unable to meditate longer than 20 minutes. Uh, I think an important part of the answer is the answer I gave to a recent video that meditation is something that is momentary. It's something that um, is to be done at every moment. So you can't meditate for an hour. You can only meditate for one instant. And that instant is either meditative or it's not. At this moment, are you mindful or are you not? When you ask how to get motivated during meditation, what you mean is, how do I, well, a better question is, uh, how do I best make use of this hour so that it's meditative, so that I'm meditating uh, for, the, for the most of it? And I think if, if you change this around, you, you won't worry so much about um, how long you sit, what, why you, um, you know, you, you set these goals for yourself for one hour of sitting and then you become discouraged. So I, I've talked about that before in another video, but an interesting part of this, um, the, the, the inability to sit for long periods, has to do with really the reason why we're meditating in the first place, which is the problems that exist in the mind. So what's stopping you from sitting for an hour in the same position, what you call meditating, is uh, are, are the, the things that you should be meditating on. And this is really crucial in meditation practice. It's something that's so easy to forget. And the reason why it's so easy to forget is because these are the problems. These are what's causing us problems throughout our life. If if they were, if we realized um, that, that they were a problem and that they were coming on, they wouldn't cause problems for us in our life because, but there's so much a part of who we are and um, we meditate in order to work these problems out. So you'll be sitting for some time in the same sort of condition as would arise in your ordinary everyday life, arises. You, you want something, and right away you, you chase after it. And so you can't sit. You have to chase after it. Or you're sitting for some time and something bothers you. you know, it could be the pain, it could be just having to sit still, it could be the meditation technique. Maybe you don't like having to use this mantra, or so and it seems stupid, it seems boring, or so on. The, 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 these same negative unwholesome qualities will arise in the mind and that's when meditation should be carried out that, that's when it has the best results and the greatest impact so one trick you can you can use is is at the time when you want to stop uh, you know, understand that that's when you have to start and ask yourself what is the problem. What is it that's causing me to want to stop minute, to, to, to stop sitting here, to get up and do something else? And what's the difference between sitting here and going somewhere else? It could be there's a, a reason. You know, you, you have to do something, or you your leg's going to uh, fall off, or you know, you're going to get some permanent damage if if uh, you sit in this position. But most likely, in in the almost every case, it's simply because of uh, those things which are the reason why we're meditating in the first place. That they're, they're coming up and here's your chance to work them out. Here's your chance to examine them and to really see that they are causing you only stress and suffering. They're not uh, any benefit to you. This is one way, well, the best way really to, to allow you to sit for long uh, periods. There's another um, way of, of, of uh, addressing this question, the question of motivation. I don't think this is exactly what you meant by motivation, but to help you get motivated, if you feel like you, you, you 
you'd rather be doing other things and meditation is, is not, doesn't seem that important and you find yourself slowly giving up meditation and not interested in it. Um, there's, there's many different ways that one can motivate oneself. You can motivate yourself based on negative things, you can motivate yourself based on positive things. Positive things are the benefits of meditation, uh, the benefits to yourself, the peace and uh, the, the clarity of mind that comes from meditation. You can think of how much you would be helping other people. Uh, you can think of all of the, the you know, people in your family who are stressed and suffering and so on, your friends who you're not able to help. The, the number of people that you'd be able to help just by meditating, I don't think that uh, there's anything special about what I do, but the fact that I meditate gives me the ability to you know, share some little uh, tidbits with other people. And I think anyone who has practiced meditation has that ability to share, uh, share with other people the benefits that it has in your life or study. Many people are motivated to meditate because of study. Many, many people are motivated due to the benefits it has towards their work, their, their, their stress levels are lower, um, and their efficiency, their success in business, their success in their life is, is, um, is increased. Buddhists who have a, a deeper understanding of, of the nature of reality and cosmos and so on, will think of it as a way to gain special states of, of, of mind, special states of existence, to be born, a way to be born in heaven, for example, um, a way to become free from, from rebirth. So these are positive um, motivations. Negative motivations are the, you know, what happens if you don't meditate, the defilements that exist in our mind, the problems that we're causing for other people, the hurt that we're causing for our families and our, our family and our friends the hurt that we're causing for ourselves, the stress, the addiction, the, uh, the, the, uh, the suffering that we're causing for ourselves and the world around us, the dangers that come from, not, from, from, from allowing these uh, states to exist over the long term, the danger, uh, you know, when we get sick, or how are we going to be able to deal with sickness? When we get old, how are we going to be able to get a, deal with getting old? If we get in an accident, if something terrible happens to us, how will we be able to react, to, to deal with it, uh, when we're not able to deal with simple, simple pains and, and, and stresses and so on? You're not able to sit for, for more than 20 minutes. Well, what happens if you become invalid and have to stay in bed for days? How will you be able to manage that? And these are ways to help us, you know, give us a kick in the pants and allow us to um, see the benefits of meditation. I'm not, I don't really think this is exactly what your problem was, but uh, if so, and, and for many people this is uh, a great help, then uh, we should think about these negative and positive, the, the negative and positive sides, that there's great benefit that comes from meditation, and there's great danger in not meditating, the, the dangers of uh, having to be reborn again, not knowing where you're going to be reborn, because your mind is not clear and so on. So uh, all in all, I hope that it helps to answer your question and thanks uh, for tuning in. All the best.